Today I want to talk about different sort of service motions and what you should do. Because this is a topic that stumbled, it stumped me for months. I thought, well, should I try copy Ma Long serve? Should I try copy Jung Jika serve? Should I try copy Timo Bol serve? Should I copy Fan Jin Dong serve? What the hell do I do, right? So you're probably thinking the same. You're probably watching a lot of ping pong, especially if you're in Melbourne and you're locked down. And you're just a bit confused. You're like, hey, I can play an okay forehand. I can play an okay backhand after the serve. My short game's all right. My, my first speed's good. Whatever, right? Whatever your pattern might be. I want you to understand this sort of thinking process. It doesn't matter who serve you copy. So whether, whether you create your own, whether you copy Fat Jin Dongs or whether you copy Samson Dongs or whoever, right? The most important thing is, let, let's break it down. Let's break down the two shots. Serve, and then the next ball. Arguably two of the most important things on the, in, the, in the table tennis. So what your goal is, your goal is to get a good serve. The goal is not to serve the opponent off yet. It's, it's an unrealistic expectation that you'll be able to go to a match and serve the opponent off time after time after time. You'll only be able to do that if the difference of level is super big or your serve is so unreal. When even then, once your opponent gets used to it, makes two or three mistakes, he or she is gonna be, they're gonna catch on to it. Yeah, they're gonna catch on to the way you strike the ball, the angle you hit it, the way it jumps. They're gonna to start to be able to receive it or give it four or five shots. Only in very, very rare instances will you be able to serve and then just get a result out of it straight away. So what are, what's, the, what's the main purpose of a serve? The main purpose of a serve is to serve in a way that you're able to feel comfortable on the next ball, get what you want on the next ball and really be able to dominate and control the point from then on. So for example, right? Give you Quadria Runa as an example. He's not gonna serve from the middle here. He's very unlikely to serve from the middle here and just stay there all day and play backhands. Neither is somebody like Rusing Bin. Somebody like a, a, a European with a good backhand, say, say Samsonov, right? You'll see him always serving from the middle. And because he's because he's got an overpowered backhand, because he never misses that, he's happy to stay serve from the middle, stay here and just play. So it really does depend on it's all about your next ball. Pretty much all about your next ball. So being able to play a strong attack from the next ball, that's or, or just do after the serve, the third and the fifth ball, being able to, to dominate play from there. That's what makes a, a good player a good player. At any level, if you can get that, you'll see your level increase. If you can start to work out patterns that are reliable, that always work for you. So you would have noticed when you've, if you've played some really good players that it's not necessarily that they're serving you off. It's the next ball that they do afterwards. It's the they serve, it's the fear that they can create that if I don't receive this serve well, even if it's just a no spin serve like that, if I don't receive it well and put him under some pressure or her, they're gonna really pounce back and, and win the point from there or take control of the point. A big common myth is that you have to blast the third ball because we see a lot of pro players, a lot of Chinese doing that. That's not the case. You've just gotta be serving and looking to, to dominate with your strengths, whether that's to get a first spin and start attacking, whether that's to um, whether that is to actually belt the third ball or whether that is to just, you know, put the ball back on with, with a lot of speed and then be ready to play, play, you know, be really solid in the rallies afterwards. That's your choice. That's, that's for you to figure out. So back to the point of the serve, right? Our purpose of the serve is to find. I hope you can hear me, there's a wall mower in the back, but the pu purpose of the serve is to, is to make it uncomfortable for the opponent generate opportunities to play what you want. It's not to serve them off, I repeat. So, you know, serve, for example, serving there, so they serve hard, it's hard for them to banana flick. Serving there, so it's difficult for them to receive. Mixing in that long and fast serve. It doesn't matter who you copy. You want to copy Shushin on the serve, you want to copy Ma Long, it doesn't matter. Whether you think you play like them or not, doesn't matter. Copying the serve, as long as you can get a good serve out of it, that suits your next ball, or your next two, three balls, job done. So, whatever will give you the most 
Say for example, if I was to copy my long serve, but then when I actually execute the serve, I'm hitting the ball here, 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 here. I'm getting one serve good, missing two serves, making, you know, three random serves that could go on or off. Even if I was, if I thought I played more like him than say a Fan Jindong, but Fan Jindong serve, if I was to copy that motion and it gave me more consistency on the serve. If I was to be able to serve five balls and consistent, consistently be able to serve all ball, all five short, that's what I should go with then. Whatever will generate the consistency and results, that's what I'll do on the serve. Just because you copy your serve like someone, doesn't mean that the next ball you have to play like them. So there we have it. I hope that uh, I hope that clears up a lot of questions that you might have on serving. What should I do? What should I do after the serve? And uh, yeah, things are more clear from now on. Guys, put that into put that into action, and let me know how you go.